I'm going to recite the 13 articles of faith. Number one, we believe in God, the eternal Father, and in his Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. Number two, we believe that man will be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's transgression. Number three, we believe in the atonement of Christ, all mankind may be saved, saved by obedience to the laws and ordinance of the gospel. Number four, we believe in the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins, fourth, laying out of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Number five, we believe that a man must be called of God by prophecy and by the laying out of hands by those who are in authority to preach the gospel and ministry the ordinances thereof. We believe in the same organization that existed in the primitive church, mainly apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, and so forth. Seven, we believe in the gift of tongues, prophecy, revelation, vision, sealing, interpretation of tongues, and so forth. Number eight, we believe in the Bible to be the word of God as long as it is translated correctly. We also believe in the Book of Mormon to be the word of God. We believe that all that God has revealed, all that he has now revealed, and we believe in all that he will yet reveal, many great and important things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Number 10. We believe in the literal gathering of Israel and the restoration of the ten tribes, that Zion, the new Jerusalem, will be built upon the American continent, that Christ will reign personally upon the earth, and that the earth will be renewed in a paradisical world. 11. We claim the privilege of worshiping Almighty God according to the dictates of all our own conscience and allow all men the same privilege. Let them worship how and or what they may. 12. We believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates in obeying, honoring, and sustaining the law. 13. We believe in being honest, true, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, and in doing good to all men. We believe that we say that we follow the admonition of Paul. We believe all things, we hope all things, we have endured many things, and we hope to be able to endure all things. If there is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report, praiseworthy, we seek after these things.